Welcome to the second session of stock valuation. In this session, we are going to cover the sole goal, that's learning goal three. This tells us the process of issuing common stock, including venture capital. We're going to discuss a bit about that, see how they go public, and also the role of investment banker in taking a firm from a, uh, a startup to an IPO. Now, initial financing for firms uh, mostly comes from a firm's original founders. Now, they have the initial stake in the company. And uh, it's in the form of a common stock investment. So, for instance, um, if X want to start a business uh, and, and then X has to generate certain cash for, the, for operating the business. And that cash will become part of um, the equity that X holds in the firm. Early stage debt or equity investors are unlikely to make an investment in a firm unless the founders also have personal stake. It makes sense as well because um, why should an external party believe or put faith in an idea when the owner or the founder himself or herself is unable to finance it? So if I have an idea, the first money comes from my own pocket. In rare situation, we have people who do have faith in the idea and they do come forward and bring cash, but they are very close to us and they have uh, they know us very well and uh, we call them angels and we'll come to that in a little later. However, initial non-founder financing usually comes from private equity investors. These are highly trained and um, experienced investors who identify these ideas and fund them early and harvest the returns later on. So after establishing itself, a firm will often go public by issuing shares of stocks to a much broader group. So this is where they cash the returns or cash the efforts in, in cash there or they in cash their um, efforts. They can be, it's not just go public, which means an initial public offering, which we'll discuss in a moment, but also they can, they are up for acquisition uh, as well. Some big firms can acquire a technology firm, which can help them um, in, uh, in, in uh, integrating their services or, um, uh, or, or, or create economy of scales. So, so venture capital, are the first ones are more professional money managers, uh, professional money managers who, who actually privately raised external equity capital themselves. And then they use this fund to finance early stage firms with specific characteristics such as attractive growth prospects. Now, because they invest in early stage, the risks are very high. Uh, they will be able to unwind their position uh, or their funds and the returns usually in three to five and in some cases seven to ten years down the road. So if they have to, hence they have to uh, be professionals to identify the um, growth opportunities and the ideas as well as they should be able to connect with the um, connect with the um, with the startup at an earlier stage and help them to and help them to uh, and help them with and guide them towards a better uh, business plans and you know to earn um, more growth these venture capitalists are provider of venture capital typically these are formal businesses that maintain strong oversight so here they try to manage the firm and they have usually a seat on the board of directors. Um, this depends on one seat or two seats depending on their investments. So they can invest in and they have clearly defined exit strategies. So whether it will be acquired, the firm will be acquired by another one or they will be able to go for an exit strategy as IPO initial public offering of stocks so the outsiders can buy the company and the VCs will receive 
the cash against the stocks they hold uh, for uh, for the investment in their in, this, in the company. Then comes the angel capitalists or angels. Angels, the word angels show that they are available in tough times. And the most tough time on a startup is when they need money at the beginning, at an early stage. And only angels are those who believe and they have faith in the startup and the idea and they can invest in it. Let's look at the organization of venture capitals investors. There are small business investment companies, there are VC funds, and there are corporate VC funds, and there are VC limited partnerships. And there are others uh, which lie in between these. So corporations, um, the small business investment companies are usually the corporation chartered by the federal government. So small banks include in this, top, uh, in this title, and that they can borrow at attractive rates from the government and use the funds to make venture capital investment in private companies. Then there is financial VC funds. These are normally subsidies of large financial institutions, particularly banks, which are set up to help young firms grow and it is hoped become major customer of the institutions. Then corporates, obviously it's a Firms, sometimes subsidiary established by non-financial firms, typically to gain access to new technologies that the corporation can access to further its own growth. And finally, we have VC limited partnerships. These are limited partnerships organized by professional VC firms, which serve as the general partner and organize, invest, manage partnership using the limited partners funds. And they can also, they are also involved in uh, ultimately liquidate the partnership, distribute the proceeds to all partners. So venture capital investments are made under legal contracts and that clearly allocate responsibilities and ownership interest between existing owners, founders and the VC fund for limited partnership. Now there are terms, how long? Normally it's five to seven years um, depending on factors related to the original founders, business structure, stage of development, outlook, and other market timing issues. After five to seven years, when the maturity comes, the fund has to be liquidated and paid back to the partners with the uh, profits on the investments. Then comes specific financial terms, depends upon the value of the enterprise, the amount of funding required, and the perceived risk of the investments. To control the VC risk which is the uh, uncertainty, long run un uncertainty lying in uh, yeah, owing to long run investment. Various covenants are included in the agreement and the actual funding provided may be staggered based on the achievement of measurable milestone. So, depends on um, how this uh, deal has been structured. If the deal requires two or three times the VC's investments, uh, depending on different growth um, milestones, if uh, those milestones are achieved, VC will be uh, able to invest. Otherwise, VC will have other ways to manage its existing risk by offering the investments to other VCs um, the contract will also have a defined exit strategy. As we discussed, it could be an acquisition or an IPO. The amount of equity to which the VC is entitled depends on the value of the firm, the term of the contract, the exit terms, and minimum compound annual rate of return required by the VC on its in investments. For tech firms, normally, this goes from 20% to all the way 140% IRR, so internal rate of return. You can see that for the technology firms, it's very high. So what is when we say going public or an IPO? Initial public offering. So when a firm wishes to sell its stock in the primary market, which is the uh, network of computers, it has three alternatives public offering, a rights offering, a private placement. A public offering in which it offers its shares for the sale to the general public. A right offering, the new shares are sold to the existing shareholders. A private placement in which the firm sells new securities directly to, the, to an investor or a group of investors. So uh, 
private placement in public offering is different only in a sense that private placement is to uh, a well uh, offered to a wealthy investor or a group of investors so we in, uh, in this session we are going to focus on initial public offering only so ipos are typically made by small growing fast growing companies either require additional capital to continue expanding or have met a milestone for going public that was established in a contract to obtain vc fund so these are two at a very early set at a very early stage the firm must obtain approval of current shareholders which includes the vcs and hire an investment bank so now they require an investment bank to start um, uh, buying the stocks from the firm and selling it to the uh, general public so this is process called underwriting the offering the investment banker is responsible for promoting the stock and facilitating the sale of the company's ipo's share so basically it starts with the firm hires investment bank an investment bank who specialize in deal structuring and selling the stocks goes to sell the stocks uh, so it basically buys the stocks from the firm and sell the stock to uh, general public and in the midst of this buy sell minus buy they get a spread now for this the company must file a registration statement with securities and exchange commission this is called normally a prospectus prospectus is a portion of a security registration statement that describes the key aspect of the issue and the issuer and the management and the financial position so basically it is an advertisement uh, advertisement that is approved by the regulator to be shown to the in general public that why they should invest in this company there is a term red herring red herring is a preliminary prospects made available to prospective investors during the waiting period between the registration statement filing with sec and its approval so a full prospectus is issued later on first a red herring is issued uh, to attract more um, uh, investors this is a, a, a sample of a prospectus of a, a stock issue you can see the number this is a date prospectus subject to completion shares this is the business name then the common stock is for bonds is different and then these are the uh, legal ter terms that are mentioned um, and these are the public offering price underwriting discount and then proceeds before expenses so public offering price will be mentioned here per share in total then underwriting discount which is basically um, the, the the spread uh, for uh, investment bank and this has two parts one is the risk that the investment bank takes and the other is the um, administration fee at, uh, or charges for selling the uh, for selling the uh, stocks so investment bankers and company officials promote the company through a road shows they make a series of presentation to potential investors around the country and sometime overseas they actually involves uh, other investment banks as well and their in their networks their strong networks are usually used in this area now this helps investment bankers gauge demand for the offering which helps them to set the initial offer price and after the underwriter sets the term the sec must approve the offering now the investment banker is a financial invest intermediary that specializes in selling new securities issues and advising firms so it sells and advises with regard to a major financial transaction so what is an underwriting underwriting is the role of the investment banker in bearing the risk of reselling so this is the first risk that they at a profit the securities purchased from an issuing corporation at an agreed on price so basically underwriting means that the firm the firm uh, sells the 
stocks entire issue entire all stocks to investment bank and this investment bank pays back the money funds are transferred to firm now this is the headache of investment banker to sell the stocks so they will go to the public and sell the stocks and public will pay back the funds now the risk is that once the investment bank acquires all the stocks and it has paid to the firm now it is investment bank who has to sell if they are able to sell all the stocks um, at, a, at a premium they will receive their spread and the risk um, uh, and, and and compensation for the risk of reselling if they are unable to uh, they will bear in the entire risk and they are going to sell it at a discount which means they are going to suffer losses now the process uh, this this uh, process given here an underwriting syndicate could be created for big issues uh, if there is a big issue or IPOs uh, going on a single banker or single bank cannot take the entire risk uh, of reselling hence they can lead a syndicate and a group of other banks can follow them now the syndicate shares the financial risk associated with buying the entire issue from the issuer and reselling the new securities to the public this is called selling group selling group is a large number of brokerage firms that join the originating investment banks each accepts responsibility for selling a certain portion of a new security issue on a commission basis let's uh, look at an example to get a sense of it an investment banker may be may pay the issuance firm 24 dollars per share um, for the stock that will be sold for 26 dollars now the investment banker may then sell the shares to members of the selling group so the lead investment banker is actually uh, uh, paid the uh, 20, uh, $24 to the issuing firm and it has to sell it at 26 now it sells it further to the selling group at 25.25 this gives us a premium or profit of $1.25 per share the rest 26 minus 25 will be uh, left for the selling members to earn that amounts to 75 cents this diversify the risks diversify the investment uh, banker risk and uh, it is uh, it's shown here for instance this is an issuing corporation which wanted 24 dollars per share of the stocks and the originating banker says that I'll get it done at $26 and pays $24 to the issuing corporation and then ask the selling group to uh, sell it at 20 to, to and sell the shares to the selling group at $25.25 and selling group is going to sell it at $26 so each get a premium at uh, at each stage so in this uh, session we looked at the process of issuing common stocks what are venture capital and what is going public uh, which means selling the stock to the common stockholder which is I, holding an ipo which is initial public offer and what is the role of investment banker and what are the risk that investment banker takes let's go to the next session and see um, what are the uh, how we value uh, these stocks